my involvement in the movement started when I was seven years old in Tampa, Florida. And I was traveling on a streetcar with my grandmother. I used to follow her around everywhere she went. They say I used to be on her dress tail. So I learned a lot from her. She was very smart, very bright, and I learned how to organize from her. So uh, we were on a streetcar, and in those days, blacks could go and put their fare in the front of the streetcar next to the conductor in a little receptacle. But then you had to get off the streetcar and walk on the street to the back door. You couldn't just walk down the aisle. You had to walk on the streets and enter the back door. So sometimes the driver would take off after he got your fare while you were walking. So I used to run ahead and jump on the steps because I would keep the door open. And my grandmother on this occasion was running behind me and she had on high heel shoes and she tripped and fell. I was already on the steps. I had to jump off the steps and try to pick her up. She's pretty, uh, you know, heavy. And uh, I remember at age seven, I said something to myself that I will never forget. First of all, I felt like a sword had cut me in half because I couldn't help my grandmother and there was a streetcar taken off and I felt helpless. But I said this to myself, when I get grown, I'm going to do something about this. So that was my purpose for wanting to get grown. 